Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be giving you guys five steps to curating an amazing makeup collection without breaking the bank. I feel like right now it is such like an interesting time because we have so much uh, social media, we have so much like exchanging and sharing of information, of inspiration, and we have an ever growing beauty community that provides so much inspiration and so many ideas and we have more makeup than ever before it feels like. But at the same time, not all of us can necessarily or want to necessarily spend all this money on makeup but then again you do get like trapped in this feeling of wanting to have all these nice things so it's kind of like how do you basically create a makeup collection that is amazing and works for you without necessarily going broke while doing that and i'm making this video because i am a 19 year old that loves to have nice things but understands thankfully so that you can't necessarily be spending all the money you have on these things especially if you're at the age where it's important to be thinking about your future so I am doing this from um, the perspective of somebody who is late teens early 20s and I want to be following all these different looks online I want to be basically um, indulging in my own creativity and I want to have have all these like beautiful amazing makeup products but at the same time I do recognize priorities and so I look at my makeup collection right now and I'm so happy with the way it looks and I'm so happy with the things I'm able to do with it and I really feel like it works for me and I have basically um, been able to grow this collection through trial and error and whenever I look at a new launch whenever I, I look at a new collection whenever I look at a new item I am able to sort of like just get into gear and I'm able to implement certain strategies and certain steps to identify whether or not this is a good purchase for me and I've talked about this a lot on my channel of course but my makeup collection is a product of all these different um, methods and all these different strategies that I've implemented over time to basically make sure that whatever's in my makeup collection is something that works for me and, and something that will add value to my collection. So that's what this video is gonna be about. I'm gonna be giving you guys these five tips, five strategies, and hopefully this will be useful to you. And without further ado, let's just get into it. So the very first thing that I think is really important and something that gets really, uh, I think, missed a lot whenever we talk about makeup collections, about buying makeup, about uh, looking at new makeup, is assessing your needs. What do you need? need makeup for. Of course we don't all strictly need makeup, but what do you want your makeup collection to do for you? For me, it's I want to be able to create a variety of looks. I want to be able to create whatever look I want. And for me, the looks that I want to create are glittery, are colorful, are really just like dramatic. I love lashes. I love um, really just uh, being like sort of like editorial at times. And I do think that I need my collection because I make YouTube videos and I post things on Instagram and makeup for me is my creative hobby so as a result I want my collection to consist of many different products with many different textures I want to have many different colors I want to basically have all these different tools in my arsenal to create the looks that I want to create if I was somebody that only like to wear um, sort of like neutral colors if I was somebody who worked in a corporate job or who just simply didn't want to wear glitter or didn't necessarily want to wear any color I would not want that in in my collection. I think it's kind of ludicrous that um, there's like this saying just in case you should have this product in your collection and maybe it's just me but like I think that whenever people say you need something just in case it's almost always going to be a waste on of money and a waste of space. Makeup does expire and I am that person 
Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm that person who doesn't necessarily like take the expiration date too seriously, but when you're buying something just in case, just remember that you should be able to use that item before it goes bad. But you should be able to use that item a few times before it goes bad. And um, if you're buying, for example, a colorful eyeshadow palette because everybody on the internet is telling you to do that and you don't wear color, you're never gonna use the eyeshadow palette. So why buy it, you know? So assessing your needs when you're getting any kind of makeup product is really important. If you're somebody that never wears a red lip, you should not be getting a red lip for your collection. If you're somebody who never wears a pink lip, you should not be getting a pink lip unless you have tried that red lip or you've tried that pink lip in Sephora or in Ulta and you really loved it, then maybe get one. But don't get like, for example, a few units of whatever product just because you feel like you might wear it at some day, like someday, or you might wear it for that like party or that night out because ain't nobody got time or the space or the money to purchase things like that. In my personal opinion, getting things just in case rarely results in you possessing anything that you actually use. I believe in pushing your comfort zone, I believe in experimentation, but you should not be breaking the bank and you should not be spending more money than you need just so you can experiment or just so you can get out of your comfort zone. There is getting out of your comfort zone gradually and with knowledge about yourself and what you're using your makeup for. And then there, there is basically spending money needlessly on makeup that you probably won't ever wear. The next point that I want to make, the next step, is figure out why you like makeup. This sounds like a silly question. But let me just let me just elaborate. Do you like wearing it or do you like collecting it? Now, I um, when I was like first getting into like watching makeup videos, I used to watch this girl and she had one of the biggest makeup collections that I had ever seen. <laughs> it was huge. And I think even by like today's standards, that makeup collection was hefty. Like even today, my makeup collection is like just a fraction of how big that makeup collection was. And this girl, like I saw so many of her videos, I watched so many of her videos and she rarely deviated from her very specific, like sort of like makeup uniform of winged liner and a neutral lip. And she had so much makeup and so many different colors, so many different textures, so many mediums, it was insane. She liked makeup and I, I feel like she still likes it. I, I have not seen her channel in a while, but she liked makeup because she liked collecting it. For her, that was the appeal of makeup. She liked wearing it, but she mostly liked collecting it. For me, I like wearing it. So whenever I get a new product, I'm not thinking about the packaging that much. I'm not thinking about the collect like the collecting aspect of it. I'm thinking of what looks can I create with it and do I have something in my collection that's similar because if I have something that's similar, I might as well just use that similar product to create the look that I want to create with you know, this item. So for me, whenever I think of buying new makeup, I'm always thinking of the fact that I like wearing makeup, not collecting makeup. I don't care about the aspect of collecting as much as I care about the aspect of wearing it and the ways I can wear it. Does that make any sense? So identify what you like about makeup. Do you like wearing it more or do you like collecting it more? And there's nothing wrong with wanting to collect makeup. There's really nothing wrong. It is, in my opinion, the same thing as collecting stamps, the same thing as collecting coins, both of which I collect and I love it. But um, I think it's important to identify what you like. Because if you're somebody that likes um, collecting makeup, then you don't necessarily need to pay any attention to somebody like me who is like, I don't want to get this because I have a duplicate in my collection. If you like collecting, 
then you can collect. But if you're like me and you like wearing makeup, you're probably not going to need every single new release out there because chances are you're going to have some duplicates in your collection. That's why identifying who you are in that respect is so important because your makeup collection will reflect that. So the next step or the next point that I want to make is assess your current stash and figure out what you wear the most. Also, figure out your habits when choosing the makeup that you wear every day. I think that um, the key thing to basically curating a makeup collection that works for you, curating anything really, is organization. Because organization is key to making sure that your makeup collection gets used. Again, if you're somebody that likes to collect makeup, maybe you're not that much into, like maybe you don't care that much about what you're using. You just want to collect it. But again, if you're somebody that wants to wear it and wants to basically get your money's worth out of your collection, it's really important that you assess what you wear the most and you assess your habits when choosing your makeup that you want to wear every day. Do you just go into your collection and randomly pick out a highlighter and use that? Do you like to go for a specific finish? Do you like to go for a specific medium? Do you prefer a powder highlighter over a liquid highlighter? Do you prefer pressed or do you prefer loose? Same thing for eyeshadows. Do you tend to prefer pressed pigments or do you tend to prefer pressed? Lipsticks. Do you like liquid lipsticks? Do you like lipstick bullets? Do you like just simply wearing a lip balm? Know what you tend to go for and make sure that your bot and make sure that your purchasing habits are reflecting that. Something that I also really want to touch on is if you think that you're not using your makeup collection or your makeup stash to its full potential, do not be afraid to rearrange it however you see fit. A while ago, I recognized that my makeup collection, as much as I loved it so much, was full of items that I was simply not using because I simply did not see them. So for me, what I did is I basically rearranged things and made sure that my least used products were the products that I first saw when I opened each drawer of my makeup collection. I also made like an entire like sort of series that I'm still working on in which I talked about specific categories of my collection and I basically showed you guys on camera each and every single product in that category. That series was designed to basically motivate me to use more of my collection. So it doesn't even have to be like physically rearranged arranging your collection to make sure that every single item gets used. Just make sure that you're able to arrange it in a way that whenever you're doing your makeup and whenever you're in a rush, you're still able to use products in your collection and you don't necessarily fall into the um, rabbit hole of just using the same things over and over when you clearly have so much more than what you're using. The next important thing in my opinion is to identify your buying habits with makeup. Do you impulse buy? and regret it later? Or do you go about it more methodically? And is that, are those habits working for you? For me, I, whenever I was first starting out, whenever I was first trying to develop my makeup collection, whenever I was just, I guess, a few years younger, I just impulse bought. And um, it's kind of weird because I think at that point in time, I didn't necessarily have the finances to impulse buy, but somehow I just ended up with a lot of impulse purchases. Whenever a sale would happen, I would make a purchase because I felt like that sale would never happen again and I needed to buy at least something. And as a result, I ended up with a lot of makeup. Some of it I really liked. Other things, I just didn't. And those impulse purchases, I quickly realized were not working for me. In fact, I did realize that those impulse purchases were the product of basically brands trying to make me spend more money on makeup. And there's an entire video on my channel that I will put in the cards in which I talk about specific strategies that I believe brands use to get you to spend more money on makeup. So that is an entirely separate video, but I figured out really quickly that this method of impulse purchasing was not necessarily 
necessarily resulting in me being particularly happy with what I was buying because I ended up with a lot of makeup that I didn't necessarily use all the time, I didn't necessarily like, some purchases I didn't like the quality of, some I realized that I didn't necessarily use that much. However, I did realize that once I sort of like really just changed my buying habits and once I started getting very methodical about making purchases and about making sure that everything that I bought would work for me, I started being a lot happier with what the way my collection was looking. Because something that I feel like I sort of like live by whenever it comes to buying makeup is it doesn't matter how much makeup you have, it matters how much makeup you have in your collection that you actually love to use. If I had a large collection and 50% or 75% of the products in my collection were not products that I liked using, that would, that in my mind would be a failure of a makeup collection. And of course, many people have different preferences, but that is just my preference. I want to make sure that I love almost everything in my collection and like just about everything in my collection. So for me, by being very methodical about my purchasing works and it works brilliantly. However, you might be somebody who is very good at figuring out what works for you and what doesn't just right off the bat. So you might be somebody who might have the resources and might have the, I would say, the preference of just making impulse purchases with your makeup. And if so, know it and embrace it. However, if you're like me and you're somebody that um, doesn't necessarily buy makeup that much but prefers to be very methodical with your purchases, it is very important to identify that quality in yourself as well. The last point that I want to make, the last step to curating your ideal makeup collection is what category do you tend to spend more on and what do you only have to have one version of? And I'm talking about categories of makeup and products. So for me, I know 100% that I'm somebody that wants to have a lot of eyeshadow. I love eyeshadow. It is for me one of the most fun parts of makeup, point blank, period. However, I've realized really quickly that I don't necessarily want to have a whole bunch of different mascaras. I don't necessarily want to have a whole bunch of different eyebrow products. So for me, I don't have, like I have little to no eyebrow product in my collection. I do not want to spend money on that. And I also only have one mascara at a time and that's it. So those are just two examples, but as a result, I spend little to no money on mascara or eyebrow stuff because I do not feel like I want to or need to. So whenever I see a new launch or whenever I see like some kind of promotional image or some kind of favorites video and this person is saying that this eyebrow product is literally the most amazing thing ever or this um, mascara is the best mascara they've ever tried, I realize that I do not need to buy those things because those particular items of makeup do not necessarily make my like makeup bug get really excited. Does that make any sense? I do not get excited by mascara or eyebrow stuff. So why do I need to go around purchasing it, you know? And same thing I've realized more recently with foundations or highlighters or bronzers. I just get like a few products that I really like and right now I feel like I've accumulated so much that I don't necessarily have to go buy any more products in that category. But I still know that no matter how many eyeshadow palettes, for example, I have, I will still want more. So I feel like it's really important to assess what you're willing to spend money on and what you're not willing to spend money on. Because if you're like me and you watch a lot of content online, or if you just simply walk into a store that has makeup in it and you go like, this is amazing, this is beautiful, I love this so much. It is important to realize what you need and what you don't necessarily need, or more to the point, what you want and what you don't want as much. And hopefully this will result in you getting a bit of a better sense of what what you want your makeup collection to consist of. And that will result in you saving money because you're not unnecessarily buying makeup that you won't actually 
get like a, a high from, you know? And this will result in you slowly but surely building a collection that consists of like the perfect ratio of items that you really, really love versus categories that you might not feel like you love as much but they kind of, um, but they do contribute to your overall makeup game. I will always be purchasing mascara because I kind of do need mascara when I'm doing a makeup look, but I will not necessarily be buying more than one tube every three months because I simply do not necessarily get a kick out of mascara like I do with eyeshadow or shiny things. So anyway, with that, that's where I'm gonna end this video. This was a little bit of a chattier video, a little bit of a longer one. I had so many points that I wanted to make, only five, but I had a lot of points I wanted to elaborate on. Hopefully this was helpful to you. I will gladly do a part two to this video if you guys are interested in that, but I definitely feel like this entire like makeup journey that I'm on is something that I'm always learning from and something that I just definitely do not necessarily know 100% about if that makes any sense. Yes, I have like these like little steps and strategies, but I am always learning more about myself and what I need from my makeup collection and I'm always learning more about makeup and how to use it. So obviously my knowledge about this, I think, will improve over time and hopefully I'll be able to chronicle that for you guys. But with that being said, thank you so much for watching till the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that it was helpful to you. Let me know what you think of these strategies down below in the comments and I'll get back to you. But with that, I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you tomorrow. Bye guys.